Okay, uh, next item up is superintendent's report. Uh, I, I mean, well, I'll do a lot of talking during the agenda, so I'm going to skip and then defer to uh, the principal's report. All right, Pam. Well, we get to take a break in thinking about the money and look at what the money gets us and what it does for us. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about students and, and education right now. Um, we uh, had a wonderful prom uh, back a few on the 4th, and I just wanted to make mention of the fact that uh, it was a safe prom. It was um, the kids behaved beautifully, was held at River East Art Center, and uh, everybody really enjoyed uh, the evening. So I, I want to thank the students for their behavior and for all of the um, sponsors and, and chaperones that evening for making a successful night. And also thank the, formerly the Patrons Council, which now are called the PTO, if you're not aware of that, they did um, change the name of their organization formally at their last meeting. And um, they did donate a thousand dollars toward the to help off offset the cost of the bus. So I wanted to probably uh, publicly thank them for that. Monday we had our senior picnic. Um, it was a cold, windy day, unfortunately, after the warm day on Sunday. And a lot of kids, I think, didn't check the weather report and came, <laughs> came in their shorts and um, ran home for sweatshirts. And um, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, the staff and administration uh, cooked for the students. And we had a lot of uh, activities for them, and they tried to sign each other's yearbooks with their shaking hands. So it was a <laughs> great deal of fun, and we thank the kids again for um, their wonderful behavior. It was, it was a great event. Um, I wanted to inform the board and the public that we have been invited, RB has been invited by Mo Michael Josephson, who's the founder of the Josephson Institute of Ethics and Character Counts Organization. We've been asked by Michael Josephson um, to do a presentation on June 21st when the Board of Governors have, has their annual meeting. They meet at different places around the nation and they're going to convene again this year in Chicago. And uh, he's been impressed with uh, what RB has done in trying to bring character counts to life here and so he has asked our students to do and teachers to do a presentation for him. So I'll be taking down a group of student leaders and teachers and administrators to do that presentation. That's a big honor um, and so we're very excited for that. So I uh, wanted to share that. Uh, we had a common core meeting with our partner schools, our three middle schools, and that was per the request of the superintendents that we get together and talk about the common core. Um, that is of state standards that are coming to make sure that we would have good articulation and link with what our feeder schools are doing. So we started out uh, conversations with the full group and then the principals and curriculum directors who met separately and the math teachers and the English reading uh, language arts teachers met separately and we, we had a good beginning to that and we are excited to uh, report back to the superintendent soon on what we hope the next steps will be. So that was a, a, a great start for us. Um, we move into finals tomorrow. We are moving at breakneck speed to the end of the year and graduation is um, this Friday. We're very excited about that. This year is, it has a, we have a new schedule where the final day of school, instead of um, kids just coming back for that hour, they are taking a final exam seventh period, unless of course they're a senior that's been exempt from that. Then our seniors return um, for 9.30 graduation practice. And in the evening, hopefully good weather. Um, we went from 30% chance of rain to 40 today. We're watching the weather report closely. We're hoping to have our, our graduation outside on Friday evening at 7 p.m. So kids um, could pick up their, uh, their tickets. They can pick them up um, Wednesday tomorrow. And so they're getting very excited about this, um, as well as caps and gowns and all of that. Uh, at this point, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our new assistant principal, newly um, uh, hired assistant principal of curriculum instruction and assessment, um, Ms. Kristen Spatana, who's joining us tonight. So I'm going to ask you just to come put, pull a chair up. So in case they want to uh, ask you any questions, I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction. Um, Kristen Smetana comes to us from Hensdale Central where she has been a math teacher in the past two years, the math department chair. Uh, she is, uh, has a master's in curriculum instruction and a advanced study certificate in educational administration from the University of Illinois and is currently in the doctoral program. 
She is a nationally certified um, math teacher, which is uh, the highest rank in teaching that you can get. She was asked by uh, the White House to come to a forum in December to discuss the future of education. They picked the most promising future leaders uh, in education from the national board process, and she was invited uh, and represented the state of Illinois at that meeting. Um, she has done work at the state level writing math assessment questions for new teachers and earned a Fulbright scholarship to study abroad in Japan. Um, and so she comes with a, a great deal of experience um, on the state, local, and national level. She, in addition, had in, in incredibly high um, rankings from her uh, references that I checked with. They talked about how innovative she is, um, how collaborative her um, even temper, her creativity, um, her conflict resolution skills, the way she can see complex situations and resolve them, and how she builds um, consensus. Her professionalism and unwavering uh, honesty and character came out again and again. The interviewing teams were very impressed with her. She has been here probably more than she's been at Hensdale Central lately. We've invited her to a lot of meetings. She's transitioned, met with the staff, been sitting in an RTI meetings and interviewing uh, meetings for new uh, department chairs. She came to the shenanigans performance over the we, She shows up when we don't even know she's going to come. So we're, I would like to um, welcome her formally. We're excited she'll start officially July 1st and uh, introduce her to the board. And if you have any questions or would like to make any comments, feel free. Well, I myself feel honored that you uh, accepted the position and I look very forward to uh, you working in this institution even make it better than what it is right now. So thank you very much. We feel very honored to have you here. Thank you. Anybody else? I had someone stop me on the street and uh, say that they were very impressed with what they read about you and everything. So I look forward to a good future. Anybody else? <coughs> I did get two phone calls from Hinsdale Central people saying, I can't believe you did this. But <laughs> so, but uh, very much, thank you very much for it. We look forward to be working with you. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to just express how excited I am to be a part of um, RB. Um, as Pam said, I've been able to come to RB quite a lot these past few weeks. Um, and in doing so, I've been able to see and learn a lot more about the course offerings and programs that you have that provide students a comprehensive education, which is one of the reasons why I was um, really interested in coming to RB. Um, I've also been able to meet a lot of the wonderful staff members here and see um, how they go above and beyond to help all students be successful and really experience the sense of community that exists um, with the staff members and the students from attending the choir concert and seeing uh, students give their peers standing um, ovations for soloists and things of that nature and really being able to talk with the staff and see how passionate they are about students um, I can't wait for July 1st to come so that I can be a part of that on a daily basis. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And thank you, very you, can, you can actually leave if you'd like. Yeah, you can. <laughs> 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 my, my big gift to you tonight is you are released. <laughs> <laughs>